So far, we have customized our site by hand. But what if we had an AI assistant to help us while we create and design our site? This is where Copilot in Power Pages comes in to help. Back in the lab, let's go and create a new site, but let's just use Copilot to do everything. So here I can type my prompt. For example, I could ask Copilot, build a site to showcase an online course library. I will let it do its thing. Now it will think over my prompt and it will give me a site name as well as a web address and of course the language. Let's leave everything by default, but of course you would probably customize them when you create a real one. After that, you can see the site it created. That is pretty cool. You see the title is online course library. It added the text and even some of the background images behind and the call to action is start learning. I see the text is welcome to your learning journey. I have web development, data science and graphic design courses. And then I have a link to join the community. You know what? That is a pretty cool start. So let's click on next year and look at this. It already gave me some idea pages that I can add. So I can add an about us page. Let's do it. A contact us page, an FAQ page, and even the questions on the FAQ here, they have to do with my scenario with courses. That is pretty awesome. Great. What else can I add? I can add a testimonials page. Let's add a blog and I can also add the course catalog. You know what? I will not add this one yet. I'll add all the other ones. Let's click on done. And now Power Pages will go ahead and create my site with all the information Copilot gave it. It will take another few seconds here. There we go. It was pretty fast this time. And I now have access to my website. First thing I want to do, and again, we'll try to do everything just using Copilot. I want to change the colors on the site. So I will ask Copilot, create a color team with blue and orange. This will go in and create a new team for me. And as you can see, it created a team with blue, orange here, and a few other colors as well as additional colors. Let me apply the team. Of course, I don't have to be happy with it right away. If ever I don't like it, I can click the undo button over here and I can ask Copilot to try again. So you don't have to go with the first suggestion by Copilot. Let's go with the second one. I think the colors are a bit different. Let's go and apply this team. Great. Perfect. The colors are, well, they were a little bit different. Not too different, but some of the more colors here were different. Remember, at the end of the day, follow your brand guidelines. Copilot can do something quick for you and you can adapt it from there, but always follow your brand guidelines. So I have all the pages that Copilot created for me, but I want to create a new page. So let me ask Copilot, add a page for course categories. So now this should go in and create a new page for me for the course categories on my site. Let's see, it will take a few seconds again for it to be created. Awesome. I have my course categories. Let's go here, view everything in full screen, technology, business, creative arts, health and wellness, personal development. It did a good job. I would maybe change the picture at the top, but overall it did great. Let's click on keep it over there at the bottom. Great. Now, I can also use Copilot to add forms. So for example, I could ask Copilot, add a user registration form. So this way, I don't have to create the form by hand, ask the users, all of that. You see, it will ask me, and this is really cool because it's smart. Do you want to use an existing table? Because you already have a registration table, Vlad. Don't create a new one, or you want to create a form with a new table. Let's go create a form with a new table in here. And well, it didn't like me this time. Let's go in and try it again. It can happen that Copilot, sometimes you request something and it's not 100% going to do it right. It does happen. Let me pick the registration form this time. This way we'll make it a bit faster. And there we go. It created the form for me. Let's go to the next step over here. It will show me all the different steps. 
I could modify it. Of course, now it's based on the table. Let's keep it. And it added it on the page. I could also, on this page, ask Copilot, create a section for customer testimonials. So this should add a section on this specific page to showcase customer testimonials. So it's really quite cool that it's able to do that. Customer feedback, what our clients say, and it added it as a section. Again, if I'm not happy with it, I can delete a section and I can maybe ask Copilot something better on what I really want. A few more things I want to show you here. Uh, let me go back to my home page uh, just because we have some text over here. I could go to some of the text that I have and ask Copilot to rewrite it. So, for example, I can ask Copilot to change the tone on text. So, you know what? I'll re because this is too short for Copilot to make something. So, let me add some text in here. There, I added the text Global Mantics is the best learning platform ever. You should definitely join our community. Now let me go to Copilot and say, you know what, rewrite this to make it better. There, wow, Global Mantic stands out as the premier learning platform available. Joining our community is an opportunity you won't want to miss. I can make it more professional if I want to, so I can change the tone to have it excited, educational, as an example, uh, which I love that they have that option there. I can make it a bit shorter because now I feel like it became too long. Let's replace text. Great. And if you want to, let's say I add more text in here, I could also use Copilot to create text from blank. So I could ask Copilot, for example, add text on why keeping up with new skills in IT is important. And Copilot created the text for me. Awesome. This is way better than lorem ipsum when you create a site. This way you can have some text that actually makes sense. What else can we do? I could also add Copilot on this site. So what this will do is this will enable Copilot on this site. There we go. Let me create a Copilot here and then add the Copilot on the site. It will take a bit for it to set up, but this will add a virtual agent, a chatbot on your site, which is pretty awesome because people will simply be able to ask questions on the website and your Copilot will answer. Now, this will take a bit of time until it's set up. I'll just turn them both on, and after that, we'll be able to look at them in the preview. But the last thing that I want to show you is, let me open up Visual Studio Code over here. Once open, you see I have Continue with Copilot for Power Pages, which is quite cool. So I could also use a version of Copilot to modify the code if I want to, which is, of course, if you have GitHub Copilot, you could also use that if you open it in Visual Studio Code, but it's amazing that we have that directly on the web. Okay, back here, let's cancel this, cancel this, everything. Let me go back to the setup here. Let me go to add a copilot, see if it finished adding. Let's go enable the copilot on the website. So it's done. Now let me go and preview the site. Remember, we haven't really done anything by hand over here. All of this has been done using Copilot, which is quite amazing. Okay, now I'm on the website and you see I have the Copilot here at the bottom right. Again, we haven't customized anything. We would of course customize it with our logo, things like that. But I could ask it questions like, what payment methods do you accept? And Copilot will take a look at all the content on your site and then you see Online Course Libraries, which is the name of our site, accepts various payment methods, including credit cards, PayPal, and bank transfers. And it even shows me where it got this information from, which is from this FAQ. Awesome, this is it for this quick video on how we can create and modify a site just by using Copilot in Power Pages.